Picture this, you've had a YouTube channel for 10 years. Hey, this is Megan. Um, this is gonna be my first official YouTube video. Then one day you log into your channel and you realize it's not your channel anymore. It has been completely rebranded as something called Beauty Dior, full of weird beauty compilations that have clearly been ripped straight from Instagram. Oddly specific? Because that's exactly what happened to me. So most of this video is gonna pertain to the hacking of my vlog channel, which you might have seen go down on Twitter this week. But it really all starts with my main channel being hacked back in October. I'm referring to my phone for notes because I mean, 2019 was when this started. So it first started on October 24th when I received an email notification for my business email account saying that someone had tried to log in, but it was flagged. As this was happening, I was watching YouTube on my TV when it suddenly logged me out of my YouTube Gmail, which is a different email address than the one that I got an email for saying, hey, this is suspicious. It had clearly been compromised, but because it was happening right then, I was able to get back into my YouTube channel and kick the hacker out and whatever they were doing. But then I went on to go through all the rest of my email accounts. So the email account we fall on is my secondary recovery email address, which when I logged into that, I had 17 notifications, email changes, phone number changes, recovery email changes, literally everything redirecting to a phone number that I couldn't see because it was start out and an email address of what I can only assume is the person who hacked me. The recovery email, which was another Gmail account, and the secondary recovery email, a Yahoo account, had been changed for my main channel. And before anyone says anything, I pride myself on being a top-notch, actually relatively creepy internet stalker. I did so much research on all of this, trying to figure out who this was. So sit down, I am Penelope Garcia. So essentially they were hacking me in real time. The emails were coming through as I was in the inbox, but because I was able to see that this was happening, I was able to get in, flag them, say that it wasn't me and change all of the passwords. I should also mention that simultaneously while this is happening, they're trying to hack my Snapchat, which I haven't logged into in about five years and I have no new so I don't know what you're looking for. And then my Twitter, which they successfully got into. Luckily, I have a direct contact at Twitter, so while all this was happening, they were able to freeze my account while they did the investigation, which is like a wonderful business practice that I feel like YouTube should implement. Just saying, just spitballing ideas. You'll find out quickly. <laughs> they don't do that. So within like two days, I was back into my Twitter account. I had secured all of the email addresses. I thought everything was fine. Everything, in fact, was not. Fine. October 25th, it's the next day, and I start getting messages from my viewers telling me that they can't find my YouTube channel, that it's missing. How does a YouTube channel go missing? Apparently, while everything seemed fine and dandy on my end, what my subscribers were seeing was a totally different thing. The bullet I thought I had dodged, I had not in fact dodged. It had hit me and I'd make a joke about shrapnel, but I don't know a ton about shrapnel. Not only would my channel not appear when you would search it in the search bar, but even if you clicked on a direct link to my channel, it would take you to this page that says this channel does not exist. When on my end, channel very much exists. And this is the reason why I didn't notice this yesterday is because from my end, my videos are all still there. My feed is still there. It was completely normal on my end. I don't really log out of my YouTube channel and be like, what do other people see? Even weirder, you could still watch my videos if you knew exactly what they were titled or you had direct links. I could still upload videos, but when you clicked on it, it said the channel does not exist. I don't know what you mean. Like the call is coming from inside the house. I even went as far to go through the steps of hiding, unhiding my channel if I had accidentally done it or the hacker had gone in and done it. No, it said this channel is not hidden, but it was. So basically after I exhausted all of my own troubleshooting and I couldn't figure out what was up with my channel, I sent an email to my YouTube partner manager to connect me with the service team and the tech team to figure out this issue. Let it also be noted that the only reason why I have a partner manager is because the channel that is in question has 2 million subscribers. You only have a direct contact at YouTube if you are a YouTube partner. So only if you are making money on YouTube videos do you have an email address of someone who can help you if something goes wrong. And might I also 
ad. I had agents, managers, lots of people attached to this who have all been working in the industry for years. And I was a channel with 2 million subscribers and this is what happened. 2 million is not that small, but in the scheme of YouTube things, let's just say this happened to James Charles and it was solved in what, a day? October 26th, YouTube responds to my email at 1 a.m. asking for all of this information about hacking, specifically for video IDs of the videos that the hacker deleted, any video IDs that the hacker might have uploaded, when my issue is that the channel was hidden. I figured out the hacking stuff on my own, which I shouldn't sound that cocky because foreshadowing. I responded with all of the info that I had, but I reiterated to them, this is about the fact that my channel is hidden. Though maybe I should have paid closer attention because that information would have been relevant later. October 27th, now my manager has followed up for a second time. YouTube responds and tells me that they're working on it. This marks the first day of many very weirdly grammatically incorrect worded emails. And that's saying a lot for me because I didn't graduate from college. Another two days pass and my manager follows up another two times and YouTube says, don't worry, they've got it. They're, they're working on it. I should just sit tight. November 2nd. It's all of the same stuff that happened yesterday and I know it's getting redundant, but I swear, it's gonna get there. Another two days have passed and YouTube has reached their conclusion. They figured it out and I quote, after reviewing the account for a couple of days, our internal team have not been able to detect any abnormal activity on your account. The account that doesn't exist? Two issues with that statement for me. Um, a couple usually refers to two, not over a week. And also, no abnormal activity. I mean, I would consider abnormal the fact that there was a YouTube channel and it's no longer there. But uh, I'm just been balling. Just me, just me, personally. So naturally, I followed up with, na na na, something's still up. So then, they respond with, here are the steps on how to unhide a channel. And remember, I had already tried that on my own before all of this. So when then, surprise, that didn't work, they ask for the screenshots to, you know, prove it. I send them a screen recording, which then their response to that was, oh, no, 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 this won't work on mobile. You need to do it from your desktop, which, you know, would have been helpful information to know prior to this. I didn't see that email until the next morning, so as soon as I saw it in the morning, I was like, A-OK, -okay, partner at YouTube, for sure. Let me send my desktop screen recording, and which I did, and then I waited. So I'm on the edge of my seat. I feel like we're finally gonna get somewhere, and then I get an email from YouTube. And they're letting me know that the person I've been talking to is now on holiday, and somebody else is gonna be helping me. They're not offering any help, they just wanted to send me an update that that person is on holiday. So at this point, it has been two weeks and YouTube has made absolutely zero progress and my channel is still hidden to everybody but me. And who cares the least to see my channel? Me. But at this point, what really else could go wrong? Little did she know, things would go much, much, much more wrong. I don't think that's proper English, but you get the point. So November 8th, remind you, remember that Twitter I was kicked out of and hacked? I've been back in it for a long time now. I start getting some tweets of people saying, hey, did you upload this old vlog? And I start seeing the thumbnail, which is of Liza Koshy. I then start getting accused of re-uploading the vlog for views and using her as the thumbnail, when in fact, the video was from maybe two and a half years prior that had been deleted, re-uploaded with no thumbnail but the thumbnail was just a still of Liza. Honestly, as this was happening, up until a couple of weeks ago, this was like so not even on my radar. I was like, yeah, this is a little weird, but it's nothing to be super suspicious of, right? Wrong. So while I was like, this vlog stuff is weird, but it's not nearly as pressing as my main channel, I did send an email to the person I've been in contact with about my main channel saying, hey, heads up, some weird stuff is also happening with this vlog, but where are we at with the main channel? Then they respond and they tell me, seems like your channel is back, it just might take a while for the features to be back. To be honest, don't fully know what that means, but sure, I'll take it. But then they followed up with this, it had been fixed. And then they sent me a link to my vlog channel. 
Not the main channel that had been hidden, not the channel that I filled out all of that paperwork for that we've been talking about for the last two weeks. Might I add, this is the vlog channel that we have not discussed for the last two weeks until today when I sent over, hey, this one video on that channel seems weird. I then politely correct them and let them know that this is in fact my vlog channel, not the channel we've been talking about for the last two weeks. The next day they respond to clarify the situation. They say, oh, wow, our bad, we've been looking into the vlog channel. I don't know about you guys, but to me, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Not only had I filled out all of those forms and questions about my main channel, the channels don't have the same or similar URLs. They're not attached to the same email addresses, and we haven't been talking about that one. And let's also remember the screen recordings I sent. There's different channel art and different videos. You don't have to work at YouTube to realize we are talking about two very different things. They apologize for the snafu, the mix-up, the kerfuffle, and then they proceed to send me the steps to unhide my channel. They also acknowledge that these are the exact same steps that they had sent me previously and sent the screen recordings out. So essentially, we are back at square one, where we were at on October 24th, and it's November 9th. I go through their list of troubleshooting tactics, which include clearing cookies in cache, which is a passive aggressive way of them being like, are you sure this is just not your computer? And I'm like, I'm sure it's just not my computer. It's fine on my computer. It's not fine on everybody else's computer. I was also getting a little testy at this point, and I was pretty sure that the person I was talking to was not a real person. Despite being offended, I cleared my cookies in my cache, and surprise, it didn't work. And then, as if I wasn't about to lose it already, I get an email in which they said this would be the final attempt to unhide my channel. I'm sorry, why are we done? Strikes me as weird because literally earlier that day, you were like, oopsie daisy, we were looking at your vlog channel. Now, now it's the final attempt. Where were the other attempts? Apparently you were attempting to look into a channel that was fine. So this final attempt, you would think balls to the wall, something we haven't tried before, risky, things might grow wrong. No, it's the same link to unhide my channel that they sent me before. The same basic instructions on how to unhide a YouTube channel that anybody can access. On the 10th, I'm breathing, I've cooled down, I go through those same steps to unhide my YouTube channel, and it's glitching. They ask for a screen recording to prove it. I send them the screen recording to prove the fact that it's not working. November 11th, they then realize that they've sent me the wrong link. Oh, our bad, we sent you the wrong link. <laughs> not laughing. They then provide me with another link to unhide my YouTube channel, and guess what? It works. Do you know why? Because it's a completely different link than they had sent me all of these previous times to unhide my channel. It is also a link that cannot be accessed unless you have a direct link. You need someone from YouTube to send you this link directly for you to be able to even see this part of the site. But they have to make sure it's typed in right first. Why wasn't this the first link that I got sent? Why wasn't the first email when my channel is hidden, hey, here's this link if you can check to see if it's hidden? Why did I have to go through all of this if it was literally just a link? So instead, it took from October 24th to November 11th for my channel to be fully reinstated when all I needed was a link. And that's where you would think everything ends, but it literally gets so much worse. Time for the vlog channel drama. Let me remind you, there was that one weird thing that happened with my vlog channel where the video got deleted, then re-uploaded with no thumbnail and the comments were turned off. But I haven't thought about that since that happened. So that's where I thought things would end. Oh, but little did she know, things were only just beginning to start. So January 2nd, 2020, two months have gone by. I think everything's fine. I've pretty much forgotten about all of this. And then I log into my YouTube channel and I notice in my other channels section, where usually my vlog channel resides, little picture of my face, Megan Rinks. It's no longer a little picture of my face or my name. It's some logo and something called Beauty Dior. I don't know who that is. I'm not Beauty Dior. I immediately was like, oh, maybe the hacker put in some other channel they were trying to promote and kicked out my vlog channel. So I clicked on it and it's not my channel. And the URL is of my vlog channel. But my vlog channel is now Beauty Dior, this weird compilation makeup channel. Just to catch you up, what they had done was taken my vlog channel, deleted all of my videos, changed all of the artwork, rebranded everything to be Beauty Dior, the best part, their first video was premiering today. 
Premiering? The audacity, the gall you have to have to premiere a video on a stolen channel. And this would be the first of several compilation videos of pretty obviously stolen content which are accompanied by a bunch of comments which seem totally legit, very much pertaining to the content of the video, definitely human. And definitely from the 500,000 people that had been subscribed to this YouTube channel. I just want to let you know that if you Google Beauty Dior, it's a porn star. And I don't think she's the one uploading these videos. So then I go to log into the Gmail account that's associated with that YouTube account, and surprise, the email has been deleted. I then go through the necessary steps of recovering a deleted email address, but it won't work. I don't be the first to admit, I don't know how this happened. Regardless of how they did it, they deleted my email that was associated with my vlog channel. So now, when I'm trying to recover a YouTube channel, the email it's associated with doesn't exist. I don't know what email's associated with it now. I wasn't as pressed about it. Not only was this my secondary channel, which really I wasn't uploading on, I'd already gone through this whole hacking thing, and apparently hacking, from what YouTube said, was much easier to figure out than a channel being hidden. So this should have been a piece of cake. Not to mention, with a quick search, you could tell that this URL was my vlog channel, which seemed to be much simpler than explaining over the course of nearly a month of emails what a hidden channel looks like. I was hoping I could figure this one out on my own. I'll admit it, I spent so much time trying to figure out what happened because I had already dealt with YouTube before and it took a really long time. But alas, I couldn't. So the next day, January 3rd, I send an email to YouTube, the same contact I had had before, about my previous channel being hacked, saying, hey, my vlog channel's been compromised and it's been rebranded. This time, I have so much more ammo. Literally, it's been rebranded. There's a whole other name there. There's a description. There is a video up. I feel like this is like open and shut case. They respond the same day with the exact same email that they sent me the first time my channel had been hidden. I fill it out, all of the steps to verify that my channel had indeed been hacked. On January 4th, they send me a report to tell me they are looking into the situation. In the meantime, here are the steps I should take to recover the email. And I think that would work if there was an email address to recover. But remember, mine had been deleted. Reminder to you and also to them. They <laughs> seem to have forgotten. Three more days go by, another update. Their update is, there are still no updates. But two days later, I got another update from another human letting me know that their update is, there are none, still. Six days later, we finally get an email. There is no update. We then respond with, how long is this gonna take? They don't respond. January 25th. During this time, my manager and I are both following up with them nonstop. And I also want to add that this is, isn't just me and some human from YouTube on an email. There are agents, managers, CC'd, multiple people from the YouTube team. This is a reply all email to which YouTube forgot to reply all and then kicked me off the email over 20 days into this. And might I remind you, it's my channel, named after me. I wasn't on this email, but my manager forwarded it to me to let me know what was happening. It reads, before I get into it, I just want you to know that it's clearly from a human. And if you don't think so, I don't know what's up with you. Hi there, good day, I hope this email finds you. I hope this email finds you. Is it a carrier pigeon? To update you regarding the escalation we did, we haven't received any response from our internal team. Please know that we are keeping an eye on your case to make sure that we keep posted. Kindly extend your patience and give us more time to wait for the update. Should you have any other issues, don't hesitate to email us back. I should mention at this point, Beauty Dior has continued uploading, and if we take it back to Twitter, maybe a good practice? Freeze the channel! They're getting thousands of views on these videos! Meanwhile, this channel is rapidly losing subscribers because everybody who had originally subscribed to my vlog channel is looking at their uploads and being like, when did I subscribe to Beauty Dior? You didn't! You subscribed to me! Honestly, I didn't even want to publicly bring it up because I don't want to piss off a hacker. I've seen CSI, and it wasn't even until Lily and I touched on it in a video that we got all of these comments being like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that was Megan. Because it's not Megan. And then it left me in this weird spot because I'm like, I don't want them to subscribe and give beauty to your views, but also like, I don't want them to unsubscribe from me. But they did. <laughs> But anyway, back to how they were fixing the problem. The next day they give us another update that they're still waiting. January 30th rolls around. They send the exact same email, word for word, from the one on January 25th. Nothing has changed. Not a comma, not an apostrophe. Literally the exact same email. Copy and paste it. Reminder that the send off of this email is should you have any other issues, don't hesitate to ask. 
what other issues? What, what other, would you put this one on the back burner? I need you to focus on this issue. I'm not gonna give you more. You can't handle what you're already doing. You are my issue. February 1st, another update, definitely from a human telling me everything that they've already told me before, just copied and pasted. February 2nd, yet another revolutionary email where they send me the exact same thing they've sent me every other day before. February 3rd, another email, just like all of the other ones. This one, my manager responds to, it has been a while, over a month where someone has taken over her channel like a brand has been publishing as Megan. Can we shut that down? Apparently not because he never responded. Until February 11th, radio silence. My manager emails again. Just following up. Will she ever get her channel back? Someone hacked it and has been using it and uploading to it and she's already lost 30,000 subscribers. We are baffled why it takes so long. Honestly, I was shocked, but we did get a pretty prompt response. Letting us know that the person we'd been talking to was going on holiday. The same person who had gone on holiday before was going on holiday again. The email starts with, hi Alex, how's it going? I wanna let you know that there's about 10 people on this email chain. No one's name is Alex. There's no Alexander. There's no Alexandra. I've never spoken to an Alex at YouTube. I'm Alex. Even if we were gonna overlook that, it gets better. They include their name. I'm not here to drag anyone by name specifically, mostly because I'm pretty sure these aren't real people. So for the sake of privacy, I'm not going to be saying these people's real names, but the person I've been talking to since my channel got hidden and through all this process, we're gonna call him Chad. Person who's emailing, we're gonna call them Bob. Bob here, stepping in for Chad today, who has been so eager to resolve your case. Have you been? Have you been so eager? You've clearly done so much. I just wanted you to know that our eyes are all glued on our case. We are waiting for instructions from our internal team to proceed. We will circle back to you once I get details. Thanks for your tons of patience. All the best, Bob. Question, our case, are we in this together? Because I don't feel some camaraderie. Our case? Let me remind you that I haven't been on these emails since the end of January, so I only get these sent later. My manager's assistant responds with, Thanks! The manager's name is, and the client's name is Megan Rinks. Nobody's named Alex here. Hi! Apologies. My last email was meant for you and not someone by the name of Alex. Thanks for understanding. How does that e There- so then between February 13th and February 21st, there have been multiple emails exchanged. Lots of these very human responses from YouTube giving me updates that don't say anything, and lots of my manager being like, hey, what's going on? We need to figure this out. Then February 22nd comes around, and YouTube had finally figured it out. Actually, first my manager had followed up yet again, and they responded to that email with their findings. Hi there, thanks for the prompt response. This case was opened because this second channel of Megan was claimed hacked. We asked our internal team to do an investigation about this report. We just got an update from our team that after our investigation, we can state that there were no signs of abnormal activity found in the channel. Feel free to email us back if you have any other concerns. Oh, oh, the fact that I am not Beauty Dior, this is not my channel, and this has clearly been hacked which I pared down to be a little nicer, and by a little I mean a little. How are there no signs of abnormal activity? It's been hacked and rebranded and they are uploading content. Their reply. Hi there. Thanks for your reply. I understand why you're wondering that the investigation resulted that no hijacking activity happened on the channel. However, I can assure you that our internal team carefully investigated this and didn't found any. Didn't found any. To help keep your account safe in the future, please view these tips on how to create a strong password and give your account extra security here. Sorry that I don't have good news for you, but if you have other concerns, let us know. They are telling me that my YouTube account has not been hacked, and then they give me the steps to protect my YouTube account from being hacked. The YouTube account that I don't have access to because it has been hacked. But if I have any other concerns, I should just let them know. Like, would, would you send me to VidCon? Can I have a sweatshirt? I am seething. I get this email on date night with my boyfriend and I'm losing my mind. He's like, put your phone away, let's watch hockey. And I'm like, I wish I was beating people up on the ice. I don't respond until the next morning, which was February 23rd, which is the day that all of you got involved. I replied to the email they had sent last night and I asked them if we can get on a call because this is insane. At this point, I was so sure that I'm not talking to a real human. I'm like, these bots don't understand me. I need to speak to a human who can understand this. I sent that email to them at 9 a.m. Literally 
literally the minute I hit send on that email, I did what we all do when we need some customer service help and nobody's helping us. I tweeted. Prior to this, I had been tweeting about this. People would be tweeting me, asking what happened to my vlog channel, asking me if there's been an update. We talked about it in Lily's video. So I was responding and every time that I talked about it on Twitter, I tagged YouTube creators, team YouTube, all of the necessary things where people could reach out. Anytime that they did reach out through this whole process, it's been, well, you've already got a case open. They're handling it. Chad was not handling it. I wasn't gonna put YouTube on blast because they were going through all of these necessary steps. Then when I got the response, I was like, ooh, how the turntables have turned. The Jonas Brothers joke, if you get it. At this point, I literally had no idea what else to do. I was pretty much like, okay, cool. Yeah, my vlog channel doesn't exist anymore. It's Beauty Dior. Let me tweet out about this. See if anything can happen from this. And honestly, after all this time, it kind of just felt like YouTube was gaslighting me. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Maybe nothing is wrong. Except I know something's wrong because that's not my channel. So I then tweeted out a beautifully composed juxtaposition of the email where it says nothing is wrong with my channel. And then a screenshot of my channel where clearly everything is wrong. This was the fastest I had ever gotten likes, retweets, and responses from verified users and people being like, hey, have you gotten anyone else involved? This is crazy. And it wasn't until that point I was like, oh wow, you're right. YouTube has been gaslighting me. This is really bad. Why were they telling me that it wasn't that bad? So to keep the timeline straight, I had sent that email and posted the tweet right around 9 a.m. It was now 2 p.m. and the tweet has got thousands of responses, all of which were tagging various YouTube Twitter handles. Still no response. Really busy that day. So oh, pretty busy. Until 2:02 p.m. rolls around, and I get a notification that Shane Dawson has liked my tweet and quote tweeted my tweet, reading, "Hey at YouTube at YT Creators at Team YouTube. This is really scary. Help." And then a weird coincidence happens. As soon as Shane tweets that, it blows up. Like it blows up, blows up. My mentions, I've never felt more popular in my entire life. Also, there was a lot of people mansplaining me being like, don't have your password be password. And I was like, bitch, if you only knew. Again, reminder, my tweet went out at 9 a.m. Along with my email that went out at 9 a.m. Shane's tweet was at 2.02. And then at 2.48, I get my first message from YouTube. Not at all a coincidence. Here's the thing, I've been on YouTube for years. I'm bashing the system that's clearly failing and not working. Not any individual person, mostly because I'm pretty sure the people that I'm annoyed with aren't even people. It is literally the fact that this is a failed system and it's not working. And also through all of this I found it's not working for me. It's not working for so many creators who have much smaller channels. But also still, it took Shane tweeting for them to care about me. Two million, not enough. Coincidentally, the first time I hear from YouTube publicly, only a little bit after Shane's tweet, I also get an email from them finally responding about the phone call I asked if we could have. It should be a surprise to no one that no, they do not offer phone support. But they then also informed me that they will be marking this case a high priority. Again. The emails we had previously talked about, we were done. It was done, nothing had happened, but it wasn't until Shane tweeted, they were like, actually, we're gonna make this a high pro Make what high pro I thought this case, did you, are we doing it again? Prior to this, there was no suspicious activity. They couldn't found any. Case was pretty much closed. Is it a weird coincidence that this new email comes with them marking this case as high priority just a mere hour after Shane tweeted and also then talked to his personal YouTube rep about it? What do you think? Seems a little sus to me. Also, by the way, Shane, thank you so much. I feel like I'm the new Tana. I am forever indebted to you. Thank you so much. YouTube asks me to follow them. I follow them back begrudgingly so we can talk over DM. I'm gonna pull these up on the screen here. If you wanna pause and read them, I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite highlights. I feel really bad for whoever this person is. No offense to this person or anyone who's a social media manager. I have friends who are social media managers. I just know that like whoever's working on a Sunday responding on Twitter is not the person who should be dealing with all of this. Hey, thanks for following us and really sorry for the back and forth you've had with the creator support team up until now. There's a separate internal team that looks into these issues and they were looking at your main channel. So that's why they didn't find any unauthorized access. We just shared your vlog channel URL with them to make sure they look at that channel ASAP. No, they didn't which is what I said to her. No, they were looking at my vlog channel, which I include a screenshot of the email in which they say, this case was opened because the second channel of Megan was hacked. Quick refresher, do you remember how this is literally the exact same excuse they had done when they were looking into my other channel? So both times they've mixed up, done a whoopsie daisy and looked at the wrong channel? 
Again? Can you come up with a better excuse? You already used this one. Your grandma didn't die again. I sent them the screenshot of the email where it clearly says, it's my second channel. And they respond with, thanks, that's super weird. It seems like communication broke down somewhere since we're not seeing that they checked that specific channel. They send me a link to my YouTube channel, Beauty Dior. It's this one, right? Yeah, the link they sent me in the email directs to that channel. So I'm not sure how the communication broke down because they sent me that link. It's literally a link in the email. Yeah, sorry, said they a bit generally there. That wasn't what I was focusing on was the they. The creator support team that you're emailing with can't personally investigate the issue. They have to pass it off to a specialist team that investigates hacked accounts, etc. It seems like that specialist team wasn't looking at the right channel. Anyway, getting to the bottom of this ASAP and we'll share updates with you along the way. Totally realize this isn't great by the way. There's a lot of process improvements that we're working on with hacked accounts right now. So the creator support team sent the link to my vlog channel to the specialist team and the specialist team somehow looked into my main channel? Why did I fill out all of those forms then? That just seems insane to me. Not 100% sure. Sorry, a lot of these teams are offline right now since it's a Sunday. So I haven't been directly to be able to touch base with the people working on it. Just checked our internal tools and that's what I see. But I can share a more detailed breakdown of what happened with you tomorrow. Then they asked for the associated ID with it. The case, I send it over. Then this, okay. It does look like creator support followed up and made sure they were looking at the right channel, like they shared with you. I'm trying to connect with someone from the specialist team myself now too. We'll send you updates. So they did look into the right channel and found nothing. That's what the specialist team said, dot, dot, dot. But the account obviously seems hacked. So not sure why they came to that conclusion. We'll keep you posted. You can tell. There's an entire department of people where like, no, look fine to me. And you're like, well, here I am tweeting and favoriting and responding to people, but I think I still like see something out of place. I just have to ask, is the person I was emailing with a person or is it automated? It's 100% a real person. I read through the email and get the feedback on how it could seem automated. They called me Alex at one point. Their response, ugh. I mean, same, but like, that's like an official response from YouTube is ugh. We'll make sure the right folks on the team are aware that this feedback slash coaching happens. Then I ask the question we're all wondering. Can I ask what got your attention to reach out? Was it Shane's tweet? It was a bunch of things all at once actually. Your tweet at Team YouTube today got my attention at 9 a.m. but you didn't respond till till 2, for sure. And around the same time a coworker also shared Shane's tweet. So you didn't see my tweet until Shane's tweet because they were not at the same time. I'm sorry you had to take this to Twitter to get more help with this by the way. That shouldn't be the case at all. It also shouldn't have taken, weird symbol, a month since you reached out to get an update. I then start sending channel accounts of people who have been saying this has been happening to me because I'm like, hey, I'm talking to a real person now. This also made me laugh. I don't like how we've been responding to this follow-up tweet. Me neither. <laughs> what? <laughs> Around the same time that I am DMing with YouTube, I also get a DM from the most famous person on February 23rd, Hadid, which might seem so incredibly random. Honestly, it's really a full circle moment because she watched my vlog channel and was a fan of my nose job vlogs and that's why she follows me on Twitter was because she found me from there. And she was nice enough to give me her direct contact at YouTube, who again, this is so below his pay grade, but this is the only time that I am getting help is when Shane Dawson and Gigi Hadid helped me. Thank you so much, guys. So here's where we're at now. YouTube is still looking into it. Beauty Dior has uploaded nine videos, including one that they uploaded the night that I posted all of this on Twitter. The audacity. And the kicker, the channel has lost over 60,000 subscribers. And to be honest, it's not like I was posting there. It's not like I wanted to post there all the time. I just want my videos back. The question that every mansplainer on Twitter has, how do they get into your account though? So I don't know, but here are my theories. Realistically, the first hacking targeted a dormant email account of mine that was set as the secondary recovery email account. None of my YouTube associated email accounts were breached, but I ran this Yahoo account in a data breach website and found five. Coachella in 2017, Dropbox in 2012, Hotlook in 2018, Online or Spambot in 2017, no idea what that is, and Verifications.io in 2018, no idea what that is. Then there were two pastes. And if you don't know what a paste is, a paste is literally someone posting your email account and passwords and all of of that stuff online. One had been removed and one was posted on Pastebin in 2013 with 5,788 other emails, including YouTubers, YouTube managers, and celebrities. 
every one of the accounts that I got back and every other account of mine that I still use, I went in and changed every single password. Two-step verification is on for literally everything. None of my passwords match. No third-party sites have access to my email or my passwords. And on top of that, my passwords aren't like Huckfin1717. They're literally the kinds of passwords that they tell you to make when they're telling you to protect your account. Apparently, Twitter users are better at doing the job that they don't even have that YouTube could do. Because after I posted all of this, I got a screenshot of someone posting my YouTube channel for sale on a hacker forum. We literally know the username of the hacker who sold my channel. And the real kicker? It only sold for $500. It took months to sell for $500. Shit, I would have bought it for $500. Are you... Also, big lesson to be learned there, we found lots and lots and lots of other people, public people's email addresses, accounts, channels being sold, all of that stuff. Check your stuff, make sure it's not there. And then there's the conspiracy theory that this is an inside job and YouTube sold it. To which I say, does YouTube really need $500? So what now? This has been a common issue amongst YouTube creators, especially increasing late last year. It's clear that the biggest problem with all of this is YouTube's system and handling the hacker. Obviously, they're not responsible for the hacking itself, nor can they prevent it from happening. But maybe figuring out a way to investigate it quicker and potentially freezing an account during said investigation so at the very least it isn't compromised during the process if the recovery takes longer than expected. If Twitter was able to regain access to my account and fix everything within days, why is there no protocol for YouTube channels, especially when you take into account that gaining control of a popular YouTube account is not only stealing the IP it acquires, but also any information stored within the account as well as any income it generates. This situation goes beyond a hacker stealing an account for attention. It is straight up illegal. As much as I thought mine was terrible, I was getting people sending me screenshots of the fact that their accounts had been dealing with all of this and they got shut out and no response for two years. What? I've literally been using Twitter to do everything. I asked everyone on Twitter if they knew any of the people featured in any of the videos and if they had given their licensing because here's the kicker. As much as this seems like stolen content that they're uploading, in the description of every single one of these beauty Dior videos, it says that they own the licensing for this content, which is ironic because all of the content has watermarks in it and not the same watermark. Every beauty tutorial has that guru's watermark and username in it. I mean, I don't have a ton of experience with stock footage or licensing, but I do know that no one's gonna buy a license for a video that has someone's watermark on it. That's the point. Upon further investigation, it says that the website that has licensed all of this is Flimpack, which doesn't exist, but a website called Filmpack does, and searching through all of their content, not one of the videos that's used on Beauty Dior was there. So like, so smart or so dumb? I can't figure it out. I obviously don't know anything for sure, but I'm gonna assume that these videos were ripped straight off of Instagram. I've only heard back from one of the people who's featured on the banner and the artwork and videos and stuff like that, and they didn't give their licensing, so I think it's pretty safe to assume that none of the other people did either. I've gotten another email from YouTube. Hi there, I hope you're having a good day in spite of the issue you're having with your channel. My name is Tim and I'll be working on your case for the time being. We got a new person on the team. I completely understand how upsetting the situation is. Thoroughly investigated this channel, reached out to multiple teams and tried exploring different options that will help us in resolving the issue. Please let's continue to work together and fix the issue. To get started, we need these information from- How can they not just freeze Hold the up. account? We need these information from you. We need these, to get started, we need these information from you in order for us to transfer the channel ownership back to you. Why weren't these steps going on before? They're asking now to give it back to you, but they just need to clarify stuff. They're showing you how to transfer the channel back to me. Why wasn't this the first email you got? The actual Email address, preferably a new email address. Fill out the legal template indicated below. This is the legal template and we would really appreciate if you can fill this out soonest for us to start the process of transferring your channel to your new email address. I'm sorry, fast for you, because you took months to do this and also you had given up. You can transfer an account back to me and you weren't even gonna tell me? Are you kidding. Personal Google account slash email address. Please provide the email address if you have it. Enter address or link. This account cannot already have a channel on it. Please certify that you're the owner of this channel. Please certify that you have the commercial use rights to all content contained on the account. Please certify there are no ongoing outstanding debts, arrangements, or contractual obligations still pending regarding this channel. It's definitely stolen content, but I didn't steal it. Please certify that you're understanding that we will delete personal data associated with the original channel prior to transfer. That includes the following. Private videos, private and unlisted playlists. All of my videos are private. You're just going to delete them? Why? Are you kidding me? 
There's no way that that... It to the extent permitted by applicable law, I agree to defend, indemnify, and hold harmless YouTube in parent corporation, officers, directors, employees, and agents for and against any all claims, damages, obligations, losses, liabilities, costs, or debt and expenses, including but not limited to attorney fees arising from the content on this channel, the users of this account, and or any claim that my content caused damage to a third party. This defense and indemnification obligation will survive these terms and my use of the YouTube service. Also, I was able to check that you had a previous conversation with my colleagues about this channel. Please let us know if you're still having issues with that channel. What? Are they trying to say that they're not responsible for yes. anything you incur even though they won't give you access to mm -hmm. your own account? Mm -hmm. But it makes no sense because basically I have to claim that all of the content currently uploaded But it's not because you can't even get on it! Certified oh that you have the commercial use rights to all content contained on the account. I don't, but then you're gonna delete everything that's private that I do have! Which is why you need to be able to talk to a person because- Why can't you just unprivate it? Sense. Why- is there, why can't you- why can't you do both? Why can't you freeze them out of it, transfer the account to me, delete the new stuff? Doesn't that make more sense? You get hacked, they upload a bunch of stuff. How about instead of keeping that stuff and deleting all of the old stuff, you delete the stuff that the hacker has yep, done? Yep. Why do they even ask me for any YouTube video links that hackers might have uploaded? I don't know. To keep them up? Looking forward to your response. Let me know if you need further guidance. I'm gonna lose my mind. So if you didn't catch that, the email YouTube just sent uh, is that I can have my channel, they're transferred over to me, I just have to agree to not sue them, and also I can't have any of the videos that were privated. Which is all of them. Literally why? I don't want Beauty Dior's videos. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you wanna support me, I have a book coming out on May 5th. I would love if you ordered it. Um, also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it'll make me feel better. But also, I'll be tweeting updates, and uh, if there are more, I mean, there will be more. I'll post about this soon. I'm... I don't understand how someone could send that email and think that that was like a valid... Here's the thing though, I'm not dumb, I read all my contracts. If you immediately come at me saying, hey, please sign this to say that we have no liability... Oh, that's bullshit, you know that means they have all the liability. <laughs> that's because there is a get... <sighs> I'm gonna lose my <laughs> Bye everyone. Megan here. I sat on this email and I realized now watching back this that I didn't deep dive into it as much as I have now, now that I've had a couple of days to sit on it and break it down. There are some things that I, I missed the first time reading this because again, I got sent this while we were recording. I just need to go over this. This is not a legal template. This is an email. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I didn't go to law school, but first of all, I know what a template is. There is no attachment. It's not from a lawyer. My lawyer's not attached. There is nothing about this template that is legally binding. There is no confidentiality. There's nowhere on this email where it says this cannot be distributed, this is a legal document, which all legal documents have. What's a template? Like on Canva, are you trying to make some Instagram stories? And then we go down to enter channel URL. I can't enter it in, it's an email. Am I supposed to print this and send this back? You'd think that because you're like, well, they need your signature, but they don't need my signature. We're gonna have a legally binding document with no signatures of either party and also who's gonna sign for the robot again in the brackets mark yes in quotations a legal document is not a scantron test it is not multiple choice you cannot circle i would need to initial by every single one of these things i sent it to my attorney my attorney was like no this is not a legal document this isn't even as in depth as terms and conditions when you create a youtube channel the only way that i could interpret this is i copy all of that into my own email body responding to them and for channel url i delete their little brackets and i type in the URL of my channel. Please certify that you're the owner of this channel. Mark yes. Here's the thing. I can't mark yes on an email. So maybe I write the please certify that you're the owner of this channel and in the parentheses I do yes and then I Google a little check mark and, and I insert that in there. Or I go into pick monkey and maybe I circle yes and then I Photoshop that back into there. And also please certify that you own or have the commercial use rights to all content contained on the account. Mark yes. You're not asking for proof. Wait, you're not even asking me to show proof that that I own it. I just have to certify and mark yes. I, I, like, should I be a lawyer? Do I even need law school? Should I just take the bar? To be honest, it has been the greatest, greatest ego boost of my life about my intelligence. But also, these are robots, these aren't people. Oh, YouTube, you're making me need Botox. Now we got problems.